Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. This time we're going to talk about the enter parameter value per message dialog box when you open up a former report. And to get beyond this, you either have to click cancel or OK. I'm going to go ahead and make an entry here and click OK just to open up the form. And I do not see any error messages or errors on the form itself. Let's go into design view and see if we see any green error indicators. And no, I don't. So now I'm thinking that maybe the error is from something that the form is built on. And to examine that, I have to open up the forms property sheet by double clicking the form select button and going to the data tab and looking at the record source. Those are the records that the form is built on, built on query product detail. If I build on that, I will open up the query in design view. And I'm going to expand this first column to see what's going on there. Products.star means all the fields in the products table. And then the product code field was added a second time so that we can make an ascending sort on it. And I'm going to look at this in data sheet view. And I'm not getting any prompts that there are any errors here. I don't think I found the problem yet. When I continue to look at this form, I see this subform here. And so maybe the problem is in the subform. So I'm going to select a subform double click its form selector button, open up the property sheet for the subform, and look at its record source property on the data tab. I'm going to build. I'm going to look at this in data sheet view, and I found the error. Quantity is being prompted when this query is being opened, and this query is what's feeding that subform. So again, I'm going to go ahead and enter a number just to click OK and get beyond that error message. But I'm going to go back to design view and try and find it. On each field, I see that the fields look like they're spelled correctly. It's very common for expressions we enter in manually have typos. And indeed, on close inspection, I can see that I've misspelled the field name quantity here in this extended price expression. So I'm going to fix that. It's actually quantity. I can see that in the order details table. I'm going to look at this query now in this sheet view and I get no prompts, so it looks like I fixed the problem. I'm going to go ahead and close this query down and save it and open up my form and form view, and voila, I have fixed my parameter value prompt by fixing the query that this subform on this main form is built on. Thank you.